Introducing the heaviest, most stable racket in the family, this is the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Yonex Percept 97H. With a fresh name and some fresh technology called Servo Filter, this racket promises to provide more flex and reduce unwanted vibrations while maintaining good stability even on off-center hits. The Percept 97H features a strong weight over 12 ounces with a flexible 21 millimeter beam, a 16 by 19 string pattern, and a 97 square inch head. A definite demo for experienced players looking for a precise, powerful weapon in a frame that also exudes great feel. I was able to play test this racket alongside of the denser version as well as the standard 97 and this one definitely is the one that had the most mass and stability which is what I'm always looking for when I'm picking rackets to hit with. I absolutely loved hitting ground strokes, drilling ground strokes specifically with this racket. It was super fun to just bash balls from the baseline and I'm really happy with the swing weight on this one. It's not too high, but still very manageable. And even when I'm a little bit late, I still had good results. At net, I felt really dialed in and the volleys were nice and crisp. However, I would say that the feel is a little bit softer than something that I normally gravitate towards. So once I transitioned into point play, I was feeling a little disconnected from my shots and making a few too many mistakes and lost a bit of confidence there. So I think a little bit more time with this racket would allow me to feel more dialed in and a little bit more precise. I could play around with the string setup and really get connected in a better way to this racket. But I will add, I did absolutely love hitting serves with this one. I've really been trying to work on getting a bit faster on my first serves, getting more mass through the ball and kind of getting more free points off that first serve. And I found a winning combination with this racket doing just that. Here today to talk about the brand new update to what was the V-Core Pro 97, now referred to as the Percept 97. This one's the H, 330 grams. A lot of people know this is the Wawrinka racket. I have always liked this racket. It's just one that after a certain period of time becomes a little bit heavy to swing effectively, um, say an hour. Uh, this one here, I took out with the D. The 97D has been one of my favorite rackets. I've been really successful with it, playing competitively uh, with the D. So I took them out side by side and lo and behold, within about 10 minutes, I was favoring the H. Uh, something about the higher launch angle, I was getting like a cheap source of power and that kind of made up for the extra 10 grams of mass. Uh, didn't really hurt me at longer points or anything like that. I was just really impressed. Compared to the prior version, uh, like Michelle said, I think this one comes uh, through the air a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. And then I also feel like there's a little bit more firmness in the hoop instead of the throat, where I felt like the prior version was maybe flexing a little more in the hoop and firmer in the throat. Um, other than that, there's not really a big change to these rackets. The swing weight might be a little bit lower. I kind of felt like the biggest change was uh, more in line with the name being Percept and the fact that it's a green frame now, which I really like the aesthetic as well. Overall, my favorite shot, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy Michelle to hit with this racket, it was the serve. Loved it from uh, the backcourt. It's really just a great all-court racket, but particularly on serve, I felt a little more effective uh, than typical. Overall, just a great all-court racket. If you're looking for mass-based power, it's a great ride. The more I hit with this Percept 97H, the more it just started to feel natural and just like a great frame overall for me. Used to play with an old Yonex 330 gram frame um, and this one uh, really just hits pretty much all the marks for me. I mean, it's, it's solid, it's stable, uh, very comfortable, very plush. I know they added a new technology to kind of help filter vibrations. And uh, I thought it did a really good job of doing that, but I still felt uh, connected to my shots, um, especially from the baseline, really plush and smooth feeling up at net. And I think uh, Chris will talk about this too, but just the mass of this frame, really, really nice on the backhand slice. You can really carve into it, direct the ball uh, really well. I would say of the Percept line, I do like the weight and the specs of this, the open string pattern. It gives me easy launch angle, easy top spin, but I still feel in control of the ball, especially from the baseline. Um, and I did notice uh, the ones we tested, the swing weight was pretty close to 330, so I think it it uh, makes this three this heavier player's racket pretty manageable for me. So um, I've been playing with some lighter rackets uh, as of late, like a E-Zone 98 Extended and stuff, but I usually weight those rackets up pretty close to this spec. So overall, really like it. I think it would look Really beautiful with a tan leather grip on it, but overall, sweet, sweet racket. 
As you've heard for some of the other play testers, this is a beefy racket. I've always found the 97H, the Stand the Man spec, to be a pretty demanding racket out there on the court. And definitely with this update, finding that same mass coming through the ball, huge plow through. So when the stars aligned, I had time to set up and take a big swing at the ball. I really enjoyed the racket. I could drive my backhand uh, top spin really well with it. And as Troy mentioned on the slice, it's an absolutely beautiful racket. It comes through the ball, buttery smooth on the slice. You can really drive through, knife that ball, get it skidding nice and low. Great on approach shots on the slice. When I was looking to uh, come over approach shots with top spin, there's a lot of racket for me to get up the back of the ball to get that ball dipping quickly um, inside the court. And I find I get a lot of push from the mass of the racket. And so I have to be careful I don't hit long. I have to really focus on keeping the tip speed up and getting top spin on those uh, approach shots. Um, but at net, once I did get to net, super solid. My favorite place to be with this racket is at net. Just love it on the volley. Uh, there's enough mass there for me to punch the ball, put it away quickly. And then also it's so stable, I can really soften my grip and get a lot of touch and feel on my drop volleys too. So uh, fun play test at the net. On serve, I did struggle with it. I usually like heavy rackets on serve, but this one just didn't quite click with me uh, as well as the previous, the Vico Pro 97H did. Um, and so for this one, it just wasn't quite getting that rotation on the ball to get it dipping inside the lines. Great for speed, but not quite enough spin out of it for me. But uh, my favorite place to be was at the net, and so that's where I got as often as I could. We strung up the racket today with Yonix's Polytour Pro at 52 pounds. For more information on this racket or anything else tennis related, be sure to go to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Over.